engineering systems improve following a general growth curve commonly referred to as the S-curve. When systems are first cobbled together, or invented, the functionality is relatively low. Assuming the system has enough vigor and support to survive long enough to make it to market, the functionality rises rapidly for a time as it consumes new resources to improve itself. Optimization techniques work here to squeeze out inefficiencies until the system finally hits some barrier that limits the growth any further. These barriers can be a number of things ranging from the components capabilities themselves, to patent restrictions, government regulations, lack of resources, competition, etc. For the functionality to improve substantially again, we must find solutions to overcome those barriers and jump to a new S-curve. As Altshuler studied these engineering growth patterns, he discovered that engineering systems improved by solving what he called contradictions. Altshuler identified a hierarchy of contradictions, three distinct levels. The deeper and better defined the contradiction, the stronger the solution. We'll spend a few videos describing the levels and the various techniques used to solve them. The first level he called an administrative contradiction, named because these contradictions are generally delivered by management. These contradictions convey that there is a problem that must be solved, but offer no direct solution paths. We've all heard them. Al Schuler crafted a carefully worded couplet system to capture these improving, worsening pairs between competing parameters. They always follow the if-then-but format. If I do x to the system, then I get an improving condition in parameter 1, but I create a worsening condition in parameter 2. Big hint, as soon as you hear the word but, there is an innovation opportunity that has dropped right into your lap. Now it turns out that at the heart of every technical contradiction is what Al Schuler called a physical contradiction. A struggle of a single parameter required to be in two opposing states. Al Schuler described the struggle as A and anti-A. If we can learn to tickle that physical contradiction from the engineering one, we can come up with some really innovative solutions. In videos 10 and 11, we'll walk through some strategies that Al Schuler gives us to solve contradictions without trade-offs. Your homework this week is to listen to and identify the three different types of contradictions that come up in your daily conversations.